Hi dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Virgos and it's for the two weeks, the, the last two weeks of June, starting June 15th to the 30th for all Virgos 2023. And it's, um, it's a reading that tells you bits and pieces that are important for those two weeks at the end of June. Let's start with the three major impacts. Welcome my dear viewers, welcome everyone. This is for Virgos, three major impacts, starting with the first one, and we've got the two of wands. Many of you are thinking about relocating. You're thinking of moving to a better place. You're thinking that you want to change the foundation, your location. You're just not quite happy, or you could be offered something wonderful that you can't refuse. Let's see the second one. Yes, there is something going on here, something about empowerment, something about authority. You want to be the authority of your life, perhaps. It is also about someone of air energy that could be playing a big role in um, guiding you to the truth by being abrupt, by being direct, by being uh, empower. Uh, air energy could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, there could be someone new in your life that, that or, or somebody in your life that's sort of letting you know that we should do this or we should move to the next level. I also feel like there could be a travel with this person, air energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Have a look at your... Um, have a look at your general reading at the end of it. You'll see the star sign combination of who you're going with and what's happening and who you're consumed with and involved with and very much into in June. And that explains everything. Now we have the high priestess, something hidden from you, something hidden that your high self is trying to tell you intuition. You must listen so that you can see what's going on. What you don't see coming, there is an beginning coming that is going to be spectacular for you. One that is going to be exciting. Something is igniting, something incredible and it's going to spread it's going to be everywhere it's going to give you abundance it's going to give you a lot of happiness and a lot of excitement so it could be this move moving somewhere could be let's have a look at four more cards for all virgos and we have torn you know it's amazing when i was when i cut this <laughs> the two of i didn't take this because i just couldn't take a lot of cards but the two was here you see that what you don't see coming but it did come torn between two situations not sure how to balance two certain areas of your life some news is happening something is happening that is going to resolve this problem so prepare for that there is resolution and i think this resolution might be in connection to movement because the two of wands about decision to move to live um, away from a situation where you're involved with other people it could be a situation where you want to relocate and live a better life a more a life that you're in control of uh, you know it's amazing in your general reading this came again very strong now let's have a look at the king of cups someone of water energy and this i think came also somebody's going to be very supportive and helping you to move forward water energy scorpio cancer pisces so this is very interesting you've got somebody that's got water and air energy have a look at your general reading this is very important for you to see what's going on with these two energies i think they both came very strong but i don't remember which air energies were they i think gemini or libra i'm not i can't remember um or aquarius i can't uh, say anything you've got to see the end of your general reading for may and june you'll understand what i'm talking about the world you are ending a cycle a period is coming to an end and you're thinking uh, not you're thinking you're starting fresh this is a, a, a cycle that comes that gives you a lot of happiness a lot of victory freedom elevation in life being at a higher level and travel some of you are literally traveling and you know relocating there is a chapter that's ending something is coming to an absolute end and uh, and preparing you for this new beginning that's why there is always an ending whenever there is a beginning there is an ending you're taking a stand you're going through a lot of understanding a lot of truth and you are going to have your victory so when you are fighting for your rights you are going to have your victory you have nothing to worry about this is what's coming again another beginning that's going to give you excitement growth and now we've got truth realization epiphanies and a victory with the ace of sword so prepare for that a lot of truth that's going to release you now Let's have a look at what else you need to know. The golden tree for all Virgos, end of June. Oops, and here we go. I won't actually take it until I cut it. Oh, it comes out. Okay, so we've got two that have come out. All right, let's have a look. First, we've got the festival. The festival is about fun, excitement, happiness. I'm just putting my glasses on. Yes, it says here, create an energetic blueprint for a fantastic event. 
a fantastic event is coming. You will be celebrating it. Um, it's going to be end of a challenge. It's going to be a relationship, perhaps something wonderful in a relationship and freedom. Freedom is there also. Successful career, transcending where you are with the eight, happy working environment, pay rises and promotions. Pay rises and promotions. Remember that also. Now, before I go here, I'm just going to take two more cards to see what else these tarot cards um tell me a lot let me see for virgos the truth we're taking two cards wow we've got the ace of swords again so two aces of swords which means um a new beginning a lot of truth a lot of realizations and knowing like that aha moment that's why that happened and great victories await you with this new beginning. You are also going to have a lot of freedom with both of these eagles. It shows to me freedom to the highest level. And it could be in connection to Scorpio. Somebody that might have Scorpio within them. Talking about Scorpio, it's a water energy. And we have four of cups. When you're feeling down, unhappy, um, emotionally devastated even this is ending this is coming to an absolute end why because of these two beginnings you are destined for two beginnings that will give you happiness and it's going to give you abundance actually the ace of sword has to be here do you see that you are destined for this so there's so much going on not to mention remember the festival is about an event that is going to take place that is going to remove um this part of unhappiness that you feel that this great fantastic event uh, it could be a realization it could be an epiphany it could be meeting the one it could be um wow i wanted to see what this card is it could be a beautiful love story or it could be a secret admirer have a look at that a secret admirer it says a secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting you know someone is not letting you know how much they feel for you but i feel like this festive or fantastic event here let's see if you can see it oh come on yes festive event this event uh this festival or this event is going to bring you abundance of information you and enlightenment and happiness i feel like whatever is happening is going to take you to the next level and this unhappiness ends completely and utterly let's have a look at okay so we did take two cards what you don't see coming um painful separation is coming to an end a situation maybe that's why you are feeling sad and but remember you're feeling sad because something is ending that maybe it was destined to end i feel like with the secret admirer this is going to turn to a lot of happiness this sadness this separation and feeling sad is coming to an end because there is someone a secret admirer someone that truly cares about you and i feel like with the ace of um wands there is going to be a new beginning someone new coming into your life and bringing you a lot of happiness and this person could be uh, someone of water energy possibly water energy my dear virgo i feel like it's going to be water energy and it's going to be someone wonderful now i also um wanted to know about two cards from here we're taking two cards for all virgos Okay, one just opened up. Let's see. Yes, well, there is a, a one-sided love. There isn't enough attraction. There isn't enough chemistry anymore to keep our relationship going. That is why it's coming to an end. But you need to let go of controlling issues or trying to control situations and make them work. When things don't work and they're beyond your control, it means you just got to let it, let it go and let situations unfold by themselves. And let's see about the secret admirer or anything else you need to know, my dear Virgo. You're releasing your ex, so you're letting go. It just shows letting go completely. And I feel this is happening all because you are destined for um, yeah, this ending is here. There's an ending. You're letting go, releasing your ex, um, hurtful words, and you know, feeling really sad because of this ending but i feel like all this is happening due to one thing and that particular thing is the new beginning that you are destined for you are destined for an amazing victorious new beginning with someone wonderful with someone that is um a secret admirer i feel like it's going to be someone like a secret admirer uh, that is going to reveal their feelings for you someone wonderful someone that you can thrive with someone that you're on the probably the same level 
Um, or if you're not, you'll get to know them. And the more you know them, you'll find that this person is worthwhile, is someone that really cares about you. But this was hidden from you and you're realizing it. Let's see what else you need to know. Truth for all Virgos. Yes, suddenly there is a change. Shocking news. Something surprising happens. There is an epiphany. Epiphany is this. A new beginning. The Ace of Swords, right? This one here. So there is a sudden change and it's going to put an end to something, perhaps upheaval, transformations to get you to the next level. But there is something suddenly happening. And I feel this suddenly is um, a movement, perhaps you're relocating or after a trip, you're realizing this and you're moving. Let's see what's next. Wow, the Grim Reaper. This is about a relationship being over completely and utterly. No second chances. You're growing beyond this. It's transforming. This is all about growth and transform transformation of your life. Maybe this isn't only about your secret admirer, but I feel like there's going to be a big event that um, is going to put an end to something because there is a new beginning with the Ace of Wands destined for you. That's why um, an ending is taking place. Something wonderful is taking place for you. Something miraculous, something beautiful. And I feel like um, this situation has to do with this new beginning, quite honestly. I believe this, this new beginning is going to give you a lot of realization. You'll understand why certain things are happening. And don't forget the festival is about that special, fantastic event. It could be meeting someone spectacular. Remember that. Okay. So the Grim Reaper shows our relationship is coming to an absolute end. But don't forget there is a secret admirer. And um, things could improve and become much better for you. Now, I'll do one more card. For all Virgos, there it is, and it shows the golden heart emotional spending. Maybe because you're feeling sad because of a relationship being over, you could end up spending a lot of money here and there to, to sort of compensate what you're feeling. But you are supported, and I feel like with the golden heart, you will be meeting. I'll just drink some water. You will be meeting, sorry, um, someone amazing someone incredible and i feel like you could need some counseling but i do feel like also career in regard to counseling or having a really a job that you truly love at the same time with the golden heart could be the golden heart could be connected to your secret admirer and you could be meeting the one and this could be you know taking place very soon and this one this particular one that we're talking about could be someone of water energy it could be your secret admirer water energy are scorpio cancer pisces and each one of them is very romantic have a look at your general reading at the end of it and you'll understand what's going on who the secret admirer is who you're hooking up with or connecting with in june and what is this golden heart all about amazing this new beginning all about the festive, uh, the incredible, fantastic event. What is that all about? And it could be the end of air energy. Air energy doesn't go well with you, my dear, dear Virgo. So if you were with air energy like, uh, like Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, you're not suited. If this person has air energy, they're the one that you meet with a little bit of water and earth. Yes, the earth will balance them and make it all work well for you. Fire will be well also. Water and fire energy are the best ones for you. Air, not much. Maybe that's why your the chemistry fades out over time. But don't be um, sad because I feel like what's hidden from you is there is something spectacular, a new beginning that is going to give you abundance, abundance of joy and happiness coming your way. This new beginning, this secret admirer, I feel like really it's going to inspire you and give you something exciting to look forward to. So that is the end of your reading, my dear Virgo. I wish you abundance of joy, happiness, and a lot of blessings. I wish you love and light. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up if it resonates with you. And give me your comments. I love hearing from you. And don't forget to share with your friends. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. And also click on the bell for notifications so that you're always updated with what I'm doing and what videos I'm uploading for you. Lots of love and light. And namaste.